work in progress in the process costing discussion. So the work in progress here, these are outputs that are not completed at the end of the production process. So they will be the opening work in progress for the subsequent period. So the closing work in progress for 2021 will be the opening for 2022. That is what this simply means. Let's talk about equivalent units of work in progress. This is the portion of the work in progress that is considered to be finished at their level of completion. If 100 units of a product is only 70% complete at the end of the production process, this will be considered 70 finished goods. That is the 70% of the 100 units. If they were 50% complete, it will be deemed as 50 finished units. The equivalent unit of 100 products being 70% complete is 70 units. Let's discuss closing work in progress. So with this, the equivalent unit of each category is to be estimated. So if you have material, labor, overhead, their level of completion, you estimate the equivalent units for them. Then you calculate the cost per unit for each category. The total cost per unit is the sum of the individual cost that has been calculated in the step above. Let's test our understanding. The following are the costs incurred in the process for the month of February 2017 for AJ Incorporated. Materials, 10,000 units, the cost was $50,000. Labor is $38,400. Overheads, $18,600. Now during the month, 9,000 units were finished and transferred to the next process. The remaining 1,000 units were work in progress and were complete as follows. The materials were fully complete. Labor was 60% complete. Overhead 30%. Now we have to calculate the cost per unit based on the value of the finished output and the work in progress and prepare the process account. Now we bring the three categories here, material, labor, and overhead because they were in different stages of completion at the end of the process. So we bring their cost. For material was $50,000, labor $38,400. Overhead is eighteen thousand six hundred dollars. Then we come to their equivalent unit. We mentioned nine thousand units completed from the process for all the three categories, so it's nine thousand throughout. When we come to the work in progress, we mentioned that for the thousand units, material was fully completed, so the thousand stands here. In relation to labor, sixty percent was completed, six hundred units. For the overhead, thirty percent of the thousand was also complete, so the equivalent unit will be three hundred. The total fully completed unit is 10,000 for material, 9,600 for labor, 9,300 for overhead. When we are to calculate the cost per unit, 50,000 divided by the 10,000 will give $5. Labor is 38,400 divided by 9,600 will give $4. Overhead is 18,600 divided by 9,300 will give you $2. So the total cost per unit is $11. That is the 5 plus the 4 plus the 2. Let's now value the finished goods. The total amount of goods fully completed in the process was 9000 Its cost was $11 as previously established. So it will be given $99,000. So now when we come to the work in progress, the costing will be individually done. Material was fully completed, 1000 units. It had a cost of $5 from the previous slide, $5,000. We have labor, 600 units equivalent, multiplied by its cost of $4, 2400 For overheads, 300 equivalent units at its cost of $2, which will give us $600. So the total work in progress was $8,000. When we come to the process account, we'll have materials, as usual on the debit side, 10,000 units, $50,000. We will have labor, $38,400. Overhead, $18,600. Then we come to the finished goods. It was 9,000 units fully completed. The cost per unit was $11, $99,000 as previously established. The work in progress, which was 1,000, had a cost of $8,000 also in the previous slide. So when we close it, it's 10,000 units on both sides. The cost is $107,000.